Oh, welcome back to more control in the last video. We did the warehouse key. But uh we have to talk to Emily about these key cards. Jesse, you're back. Did you find anything noteworthy? The original bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or more accurately, the Rangers found them for me. Are you starting a collection? I'm going for the whole set. I kid it, of course. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards. just to access. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. I'm gonna assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. But keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are. And five is the magic number. Aha. Uh -huh. We already have three. The nail is almost repaired. You really do have an act for this kind of work. Any progress with the nail? Of course. I've been busy with surface analysis. Its composition is remarkably similar to that of material found in the astral plane, but it alters itself between my observations. It's almost as if it doesn't like being examined. So the nail is from the astral plane? Not necessarily. See, if we assume that, we're suddenly facing a lot of new questions. How did something so large get out of the astral plane? How did it get inside the oldest house? Did a threshold bring it in? Did people? Maybe through the motel. Maybe it was always here. Hmm. Doubtful. <laughs> okay. Have you spent any time looking into the crystals growing around here? As if I could resist. The biggest question is where it comes from. A threshold? Or is it native to the foundation? But if so, why doesn't it grow in the rest of the oldest house? The fact that they return to an earlier state when damaged is severely inconsistent with our reality's adherence to linear time. So either they're A, partially conscious, or B, organic elements that are foreign to and yet influenced by our dimension. The jury's still out. Have you learned anything about the crystals? I have a power that lets me stretch them. Huh. Yep. Anything on the good old Marshall? She's not dead, is she? Any idea what Marshall would be doing down here? That information is on a need-to-know basis, Faden. <sighs> Sorry, I can resist. But honestly, I never had much interaction with Marshall. She only came to me when she was looking for Darling. But this is Helen Marshall we're talking about, the woman who single-handedly dealt with the Burton Peak community. If she's down here, it's because she needs to be. Wow. Clearly, she couldn't handle this one on her own. She thought she could. I'll see you later, Emily. Good luck. Take notes. Jeez, you sound like a teacher, woman. Anyway, I know where the, the last two key cards are. We just gotta go back to the central warehouse, I believe. You know, the one where enemies annoyingly keep respawning. I swear, if there are enemies here, I will go to one shot. Just for these losers. 
I ain't messing around, dude. I ain't messing around. I ain't wasting my time constantly having to fight you losers. Just because you guys don't know when to quit. Like, come on. Stop respawning. <laughs> well. Are we done here? Are you are you guys done? Thank you. Alright. So the one I kept missing, uh when I when I read scaffolding, I thought that scaffolding. No. Right here. Another one of those ID cards. Security chief. I do like that every single ID card you can basically find in this one room. There's one right here. There's one in that building. And obviously the very first one you find is in, I think, that one right there. And then obviously there's one in that room above there. And the last one, it's in this room that's been taunting me. It's right here. ID card was for an excavation engineer. Why did so many people abandon their cards down here? Sounds like a whole squad to me. Dr. Ash, as chief excavation officer, it's my job to support the research team. So, I got you your machine for that ridiculous sand research project. However, it's also my responsibility to ensure the safety of my crew. Do you know how many trips it took to get an entire bulldozer down here piece by piece? And do you know how many of my guys we lost in those trips? Here's a hint. Too fucking many. Which brings me to my point. I'm writing you today because of this request from that just landed on my desk. This request form. Apparently... You want a lightweight one or two man military grade helicopter for the purpose of surveying the vast expanse of the columns by air. I bet you didn't even stop to wonder how much time, money, effort, and blood this toy would cost us. Well, no, sir. I am sorry, but I will not subject my men to another mouth of marching through that death trap upstairs for Christ's sake. These people have families. Not that they ever get to see them anymore. Request denied. Lewis McNary. Uh, yeah. Given that that was McNary's note, I'm assuming right there. Theodore Ash Jr. Nice. Hank Wilder. Is this a like Marcus Talbot? Dr. Gustav Friendswell. I'm assuming this is the excavator because that's just the note we found there. Dust on this place. Nobody swept here in years. Not even Ati. No way he'd stand for this. There's yeah. an elevator, which I'm sure is super safe. In a space in each terminal for an ID card. Which card go where? I think one's pretty obvious. It's a lot of weapons. I think that's Hank Wilder. Obviously, this has... This could be Ash because he was denied... touch what are the head of research senior oh yeah now this is the cartographer are you kidding me there's maps and yeah this has to be engineer because engineer 
So he was three. Oh, never mind. Oh, you were the two that, that confused me the most. I'm just gonna get a limb here. And say this is It worked. Now I just have to get on the rickety elevator that goes who knows how far down. <clears throat> oh oh, okay. So I was right. Exactivator dude, because the note right here was his note to Ash. This is obviously the cartographer. Uh, Ash with the big picture. <clears throat> Physicist. Physicist would probably have instruments or something. Bird. Yeah, like Physics. that. Oh, yeah, right there, that right there. There's your tail. And then head of operator. So yeah, they all have little tells that like, oh, this is obviously the physicist, this is the cartographer, this is the security officer, this is the excavator, this is Ash, head of research, <clears throat> right? Because he's got just straight up books. Huh. And that'll go and ink. Dust. Still, this lab's way tinier than any of Darwin's. Should you say this lab is tinier than any of Darling's? I think she did. I'm just surprised they have, you know, a laboratory down here, dude. That music. So that's what keeps popping up on my screen is the elevator button. Uh, not yet. Why is she? Why she do that so slowly? What did that do precisely? I have no idea. Why would they need such a heavy door down here? Oh. Yeah, don't care, Doc. I ain't got time for this. That was a boss fight, by the way, I'm pretty sure. This looks like the nail. Only mini. A, a mini nail. A document. Is this in some kind of code? I can't read a word of it. Oh, that explains that. To Dr. Theodore Ash Jr., as director of the Federal Bureau of Control and chosen representative, liaison, li liaison, benefactor of the greater authority of the board, I demand your immediate withdrawal from the Foundation. Prior memos issued broadly to Foundation staff called for swift reassignment for, of all personnel to the upper levels of the House. All staff complied except you. This demonstrates a lack of respect for my office and the board itself. This is their house and we are all their guests. 
We should conduct ourselves accordingly. Normally such insubordination would be grounds for dismissal. But only but out of respect for your late father. Consider this instead my final warning. The board and director Ash chose me as successor to the office, and no amount of petulance will change that. Indeed, your actions seem to suggest you know better than myself, and by extension, better than the board. Permit me to assure you that this is not possible. Sincerely, Director Broderick Northmore. I should take this back to Emily and tell her I got into Ash's secret lab. So your boy was basically told to come back. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was a bit slimy what I did. To be honest, I kind of forgot I had one shot on. And till I was like midway through the elevator and then I just was like yeah we're good what's going on here oh there's one on each side whoops Well, that was a short little episode. <laughs> kind of speaking, yeah, actually. All because this game just loves putting fruitless respawn enemies in this room. Fast travel to crossroads. I know it's not that far away, but still fast, fast travel. Holy crap, that yawn. My god. So, Easter. I know you'll take care of this, Director. I'm not worried. Okay, didn't know you... You needed to reassure yourself of that, but whatever. I found Ash's secret lab. Excellent. Please tell me everything. Spare no details. Uh, well, there was another cave. The walls were covered in paintings of eyeballs. The research seemed dedicated to studying a kind of... smaller version of the nail. It looked like the same material as the one up here, but just a different shape. Well, are you sure you didn't see any functioning prototypes? Or at least some schematics? I mean, Dr. Ash was a very accomplished engineer. None. Sorry. I did find this handwritten note. Wow. I had terrible handwriting. Never meet your heroes, right? It looks like a transcribed conversation between Ash and someone named F. Ooh. Oh, this is juicy. This will take me days to parse out. Maybe weeks. Have you ever thought about taking a vacation, Emily? Are you kidding? This is my vacation, Jess. You are weird. Crystals, cave paintings, rust-filled sand. This place is a research gold mine. I'll see you later, Emily. Good luck. Take notes. Castle weird. Why the but? The red above her head usually indicates, hey, I don't know. Either way, uh, I think this will just be a short little episode. Since I cheesed it, I might as well just end it there and start our last uh, our last trip to the final nail door. Which should be over there in that area past the canyon rim. I don't remember what it's called or what it's supposed to be called, mind you.
but I'm pretty sure that's where the last one is. Obviously, I mean, you can kind of see the question mark right there. So that's fun. So yeah, we'll, we'll find a way over there in the next episode. That'll be great. Okay, thank God I wasn't near a cliffside there because I thought I was and then I was going to die and then I was going to be sad. <sighs> but I wasn't. Oh, hey, we can actually get this real fast. What was it? Oh, yeah, this. Master... P what? Para-utilitarian. Okay. That's what that said. Para-utilitarian. That is a hard word. Okay, so those are both eight, but I hardly ever use melee, so I think this will be the next one we do. Energy level two. Uh, then we got shield stuff. I think we'll do shield and seas uh, simultaneously maybe sneak in a levitation while we're doing both of these but yeah for sure we're gonna get energy six next but you know what maybe i should do energy levitate right and then focus on you two back to back that sounds good hope you have a great day marvel you can be the best you you can possibly be oh so You press L2 to carry more enemies when, uh, carry more enemies, carry more objects. So yeah, like I, like I was saying, yeah, don't be a stranger. Go down below, control all those buttons. One's red, one's in the shape of a thumbs up, is what it is. Hope you have a great day. Everyone, you can be the best you you can possibly be. And ta-ta for now.